If you're an audiobook narrator, especially if you want to use the punch-and-roll recording method, you may think that you have to use Pro Tools. But if you're a Mac user, you may have another option. Apple Logic 9. Here is how I set up Logic for audiobook narration. Before launching Logic, go to your System Preferences, select Spotlight, and uncheck the key command. You'll need that later. Launch Logic. Select Create New Empty Project. Uncheck Open Library. Click Create. Enlarge the track by placing the cursor near the lower left-hand corner of the track header until it turns into a finger. Click and drag down. Control click in the track header. Select Configure Track Header, uncheck Track Icons. Click Done. In the Track Timeline pull-down, select Time. In the next pull-down, change Drag to Shuffle Left. This will prevent gaps in your track clips. In the Snap pull-down, select Samples, giving maximum control in placing the playhead. Control click in the bottom display. Choose Big Simpty Display. Change output to mono by clicking on the Stereo Mono button under the output control. Click the Preferences icon and select Key Commands. In the Key Commands window, expand Global Commands. Click Record to highlight it, then click Delete. Then select Learn by Key Label. On your keyboard, enter a new key command for Record. Command space if your system will allow it. If not, try option space or control space. Close the key commands window. In preferences again, select Preferences Audio. Select the General tab and the Recording File Type pull-down. Select CAF. This gives the maximum recording time per track. Then, go to the Sample Editor tab in the same window. Uncheck Warning Before Processing by Key Command. This will speed up your editing later. Close the Preferences window. Click on the Settings icon and select Metronome. Uncheck the Click While Recording Radio button under Options. If you want to set up for punch and roll recording, next select the Recording tab. Under General, When Beginning, click the Record Pre Roll Radio button. In the window, click the right arrow to increase this to 3 seconds to start with. You may want to increase or decrease the amount of pre roll later after you get accustomed to punch and roll to suit your personal preference. Close the Settings window. Unfortunately, Logic doesn't include RMS normalization, a function that helps even out volume across recording sessions. It does have two plugins that can perform a similar function. The first is Dynamics Compressor, which has both an RMS function and a limiter. I like the preset for voice, Vocal Compressor 3. The other is Dynamics Limiter. I choose the 4 Vocals preset. 
You can save these and any other plugins as part of your template, and turn them on or off at your option by pressing Option Click. Close the inspector by clicking on the inspector icon, or pressing the I key on the keyboard. If you want to create a character voice track, click the New Track with Duplicate Setting button. You can copy samples of character voices from your main track here, then rename and play them in the media bin whenever you want. All done. Choose File, Save as Template, and name it. The next time you create a new project in Logic, choose Create a New Project from a Template, My Templates. You can save multiple templates with different settings. Punch and Roll Recording To start recording, select Track, Command Space. The playhead backs up the amount you chose in settings, rolls forward, and at zero, zero, recording starts. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth a great nation. Press space to stop recording. Before starting again, drag the playhead back a little. Press the backslash key to split the clip. The mic may pick up the keystroke when you pressed space to stop. To start again, press Command Space. Recording will start at the split. Predicated on the principles of life, liberty, and happiness. My sister sells seashells by the seashore. The seashore was... Oh, crap. To make an edit, space to stop, drag the playhead back to the point where you want to start re-recording, backslash, and command space to start. My sister sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells were in the sea. Peter Piper picked up. If you make a mistake and simply want to cancel the take and try again, press Command period to stop instead of space. The take is canceled and playhead is returned to the same start point. Then Command space to try again. Peter Piper picked a peck of. Pip, tip, tip, tip. Peter Piper picked a peck of... Ah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. To copy a character voice clip into the character voice track, first backslash before and after the sample. Select the subclip. Copy. Select the next track. Paste. Open the media folder bin. The character clip will be highlighted. Rename it. To listen to it later, open the media bin, highlight it, and click the preview button. Our forefathers brought forth a great nation. When the track is complete, select Track, Bounce Track in Place, not Merge. Rename the track if you want. Select Replace, Bypass Plugins, OK.
When the new track is done, open the media bin, choose Select Unused, and press Delete. In the dialog window, choose Move to Trash and For All and click OK. All the unused takes will be moved to the trash. That's it. You're done.